Hello, this is StarCraft Scientist, and today I'm going to show a match that I played. This is one of my first three placement matches. I've only done three so far because, as it turns out, I'm a bit inexperienced, and so I'm doing a little bit of turtling. Oh yeah, so I wanted to say that I am in partnership with se2blog.com, and okay, so let's get back to what I was saying. So in this map you can see the enemy went a 6 pool, that's the equivalent of a 4 pool in StarCraft 1. So that means he the first thing he's building, no drones, just going straight for a spawning pool and he's going to rush out Zerglings as early as you can possibly get them out. And yeah, so this is my second placement match. I, I lost the first one. I do end up winning my next two placement matches though I'm averaging about 40 minutes a, a match at this point. Oh no, I guess about 30 minutes. Anyways, I wanted to briefly mention that I cannot upload in HD for a little while until NVIDIA releases new drivers that have better performance. I downloaded the latest drivers and they did actually get me up to 30 frames per second, but they do make the screen flicker so that I cannot play and so I got the beta drivers which do work fine but they do not have very good frames per second in StarCraft 2 anyways so I do scout out that he has the very very early spawning pool and I immediately start building the second supply depot to wall off the zerglings to buy me time to build marines I probably should have started building a bunker, but I decided I would try not building a bunker and see if I could just hold him off at the wall. I stopped building with my SUV so I could try to get in position to repair, but they sort of Zerglings took my spot, so send over more SUVs to repair. I'm not actually doing a very good job with my repairing. Um, yeah, so at this point, you might think that Terran player is going to lose, and Terran player might quit, but um, I do actually manage to come back from this, simply because I kill enough Zerglings that he can't kill me very quickly. Now, I probably would have been smart if he just went after my SCVs at this point, but he doesn't. And so I'm just going to build a bunker and to rescue my marines hide them in my base until I can get them into the bunker so I, I lead away one marine and so that way he has to choose either to kill this marine or to kill the marine that I'm about to build and hopefully he won't be able to get both in this case he doesn't get either of them and he doesn't realize that Well, I actually don't realize that I could just lift off my barracks. I don't end up doing that. Maybe I was trying to buy myself some time. Anyway, so I start building engineering bay. I decide I'm going to get enough gas to get a planetary fortress. And the splash damage on that is really good. It's probably the equivalent of two siege tanks. It doesn't do as much direct damage, but it does a lot more splash damage. And so yeah, so I'm going to fast forward here, so you can see I did get my bunker up and I'm going to build my Pyrex Fortress and there's really nothing he can do, he's going to go roaches, but it's not going to be effective. Uh, so yeah, you can see that the Terran has really strong defense, The you can if you get a bunker up and you just survive with one marine then you can probably fend off any zergling rush even if you lose the wall in the front of your base and yeah so I would say you probably should not try the strategy my opponent used here uh, I don't really think it would work against any player it might work against Protoss Especially since there's no wall, so you can run into his base and attack his SCVs. It might work against Zerg too, but definitely against Terran. And I'm not playing random, so he knew I was Terran. Like, 
It's not a good strategy against Terran. And so yeah, this is StarCraft Scientist, and I want to mention that yeah, this is my first casting of a match that I played just because I thought it was an interesting strategy being showcased here. Um, so let me know if you want more videos that are from me actually playing or if you'd rather just have um, the little videos I make with the computer and just showing short tips for how to play better. Anyways, this is StarCraft Scientist and hopefully you found this video interesting and that's going to be it for this commentary. I will see you probably in two days when I will try to do another video.